Forget about clunky no-code tools. Forget about website builders with big learning curves. Forget about code. Framer Sites is here to steal everybody's lunch. A free tool that lets you import your Figma designs straight onto the canvas and then just hit publish. I genuinely think that this tool, Framer Sites, has to be on every designer's radar. Because not only can you take your Figma designs, import them into Framer and then publish, but you can design straight from Framer itself. Now, it might not be as flexible in terms of straight up design as Figma is today, but imagine a future where you do it all in one app. You design, you publish, you change the content with the Framer CMS. I'm just saying, don't blink. Now, before we jump in, if you would care to just like or subscribe, that really helps. All right, so we're in Figma and today we only have one slide because this is gonna go real quick because that's how easy Framer Sites is. And by the way, I'm not affiliated at all with Framer. Yeah, I'm just blown away by this tool. So if we zoom in here, all you have to do is take your frame, copy it, and then paste it into Framer Sites. So let me go to the plugins here. I'll search for Framer, I'll click Run, but before I do that, I'll target my frame, click Run. You can see in the bottom here, copying layers. So let's jump over to the Framer app. I'll just customize the canvas first to make it a bit wider because my frame was 1440 pixels and that should be enough. So I'll paste it in here. There we have it. And one thing that we have to fix is the fonts. So I'll just go in here and I'll search for the correct font, Satoshi Bold, I think. Yes, same here, Satoshi Bold and Satoshi Bold. So that's done. Just gonna customize some things because depending on how you set up your Figma file, the import is gonna be better or worse. So you have to make sure that you do your auto layouts, you do everything correctly so that it plays nicely with how a real website would be structured. Let's see what's wrong with the import thus far. I'll go to layers. I'll change this from being locked in terms of aspect ratio. I'll unlock it and I'll increase the size so that it covers the full frame. And yes, it touches all of the sides. So as you can see here as well, things look very similar to Figma in terms of the UI. I'll go and increase the size of this as well. And I'll increase the size of the frame so that it covers everything. Now let's just make sure that our stuff is responsive as we want it to be. So I have everything, it's lined up. Let's just see, like I said, I'll even lock this, the background, and let's see what happens when we decrease the size. Okay, so almost everything is responsive. We just need to fix this text. Uh, that is correct, but this one shouldn't be fixed with. It will fill instead. Now, if I try to decrease the size again, okay, that looks better. Now, the only thing I have to do to make this responsive is I add a breakpoint for tablet and it gives me the breakpoint just like that. I'll change the margins so that it covers the full screen almost. I'll change the size of the font. I'll add another breakpoint for the phone. So I'll change the font size again to maybe 72. This stack, this auto layout, I want to stack vertically instead of horizontally change a line to a line left and we'll change from space between to end and then I'll give it some gap there and gap is just like the margin between the items and maybe we'll decrease the gap here as well and I forgot to change the font of this arrow so let me do that target the arrow satoshi bold done for all the frames and for this I'm just gonna maybe first off we'll give the container a 16 pixel margin to the sides so we'll gain some more space this should also be with fill like Figma and maybe I'll change the copy in this button to just be join so that we have some space maybe I'll even change the height of this just to 96 I think that looks fine now if we play it Everything just works. 
I mean, this is I'm totally blown away just by doing this tutorial, to be honest. Now, another thing I just have to show you because this is also super powerful. We can create components in Framer. You can basically create your whole design system with text styles, with buttons, input fields, everything within Framer. So I'll hit Option Command K. Oh, that's right. I have to go to the main desktop component here. So Option Command K and I'll name it Button Create. And from here, we get to a separate canvas that is like the component canvas for this button. From here, I can add a hover state. So let's click here. Let's go crazy here with a hover state. I'll change maybe the paddings. So we'll increase the size of the button. Maybe we'll say this is uh, 24. Actually, we have a fixed height. So I'll change that instead. 64, I'll bump up the rounding. Maybe we'll change the color a bit maybe even the outline color like this, bump it up, maybe even the shadow, bump that up to 32, 16, give it a darker opacity. So if we jump back and we hit play again and we try it out, boom. I mean, it's too simple. It feels like cheating. Now, if you want me to cover more in-depth things on Framer sites, let me know in the comments below because I'd happily cover tutorial stuff on Framer sites as well. Now, until the next one, have a great life. We'll talk soon. Ciao.